everyone. So earlier this morning on Twitter, I was talking about what video I was going to put up today. And I was saying that a lot of people have been requesting my what's in my bag video for me to do an update. And I thought that would be a really cute idea. So I Twittered and I was like, would you guys rather see a tutorial today or a updated what's in my purse video? And I got a lot of responses for what's in my purse. I got a couple tutorials, but like three. So I decided I would do the what's in my purse. And then someone Twittered me and said that I should do a necessities for what you need to carry to school in your purse, which I thought was the best idea. Because I know that you always have that friend, and I was always that girl that's walking around high school, and you can just tell their back is aching because their purse is so heavy. So this year, I'm a junior, and I am homeschooled for the first time, but I have had 10 years of regular school. I've gone to private and public school, so I kind of know what you need for school, and I know what I always needed for my school and what I didn't need, but I decided to bring. So there are tons of different bags you can carry to school for your books to be in. You can take a book bag or a backpack, whatever one you want to call it. I don't have one, so I can't show you because I don't carry those. But they're the ones that, like you put your books in and then it like has straps that come over and like it sits on your shoulders. And yeah, you can take that or they even have like rolling ones. Usually I would put all of my books in a tote bag and it would be so heavy that walking from room to room, I could feel my arm go to sleep. But that's what I used. You can also take a messenger bag so it kind of distributes the weight a little bit better because the shoulder strap is over here but then it comes around your body so the weight's over here. So it kind of distributes but any bag that you take you're still going to want to carry a purse because I know that I didn't want all of my personal items mixing up with all my school items and my book items and if you're going to go out after school you don't want to have to take your book bag with you or your tote bag. You just want to be able to have your purse. And purses are one of the cutest accessories to dress up any outfit. My new obsession is my Coach Popsy Spotlight Bag. I love big purses. You don't have to have a big purse though because some of the things I have in here were required for my school. And some of them you can put in your book bag but I just like having them in here. So I'm gonna show you basically what you need for school. The first thing on this outside pocket, I have a bunch of gum. It was a rule in my elementary and middle school that we weren't allowed to chew gum. But when you got to high school, you were allowed to write in pens and chew gum. And they had more drink options at lunch. You didn't have to get milk. They had like Gatorade and water and they had slushed puppies and cookies. It was the best thing ever. But you were allowed to have gum in your classrooms. So first day of school, everyone had like thousands of packs of gum in their bag. And by the time like the weeks went on, no one had gum anymore. So everyone asks other people for gum. And it kind of gets annoying if you're the person that always has gum and everyone in your class always wants gum. Just because I think if they would let us have it in middle school, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But since we can't, it's like if we don't have gum while we're at school, we're like not cool. The actual pocket glasses. This is in a Vera Bradley glass case. And I have really, really bad eyesight and I wear contacts. But in case of a time where my contacts just aren't really working or I get something in my eye, say in the science lab and I have to take my contacts out, I bring my glasses with me. Okay. Next, a book. So right now I'm reading, ugh. so right now I'm reading The Time Traveler's Wife. It's about to be a movie, so I wanna read the book before I get the movie. It's kind of a hard book to read for me just because the first hundred pages I'm told are like really hard to get through and then the rest of the book's really good but I just got through a hundred pages and it's starting to get good but I've been reading this for a while now I don't know I just always find myself on the computer instead of reading which isn't great but what really motivates me to read is if you're in the classroom and you've finished a test and you don't have any work to do I would always have a book to pull out that I could read so I would have that a lot of people would keep this in their book bags but I like having a book with me no matter where I go. So, I mean, that really does weigh your bag down. So if you're looking for a light bag, I would say put your book in your book bag because that's where it should go, but I'm not like that. Okay, next you need a planner. This, again, is something that can go in your book bag, but I don't like it. And basically just to write down all of your homework, any assignments you need. Um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. The next thing I have is something that I've carried to school with me since my grandmother bought it for me and she bought it for me in like seventh grade and it is a Scrabble dictionary but it's like a, a 
electronic one or whatever. And whenever I'm reading a book and I come across a word I don't know, or the teacher says a word I don't know, I I jot the word down. And then when I have a spare time, maybe after I finished a test or a quiz, or they give us homework and I finished it all, I would go and I would look up the word and I would write it down. And I try to use the word throughout the day and throughout the week so that I can kind of build that word into my vocabulary. Then I have one last thing that most people would keep in their book bag, but of course Blair has to have it in her purse, and that is my calculator. Um, this is nothing special, it's just a graphing calculator that we always had to have for math class. Okay, now this is the stuff I would recommend not putting in your book bag, but always having in your purse. The first thing are keys, if you need keys. So if you are a junior, senior in high school, or even a sophomore, you you might drive yourself to school. I started driving, my birthday is April 1st and I turned 16. So I started driving, I got my license on April 2nd because I didn't want to fail on my birthday because that would be an awful 16th birthday. So I went on April 2nd and I got my license and then I started driving to school on April 3rd and I thought it was so cool. But even if you're younger, even in middle school or a younger year of high school, it is possible that you ride the bus also and when you get home maybe no one's home and the doors are locked so you need to be able to have your own keys to get into the house. So I think a lot of people carry around keys whether they drive or not. So I'll just show you really fast. I have this Juicy Couture like key fob that this is what I keep my lunch money in and my driver's license and a lot of times I will go into a store and I will just take this with me like the grocery store because it's really easy to carry. And that is because I have my Glitzy Glam keychain. And this is a hot pink backing with cheetah ribbon and a turquoise initial. This is a build your own. So I just slip my wrist on here, I carry this around. And then the other keychains I have are just rib movies, my car key, it's one of the electronic kind, a Hollywood keychain, this, um, my New York monkey, listen. <laughs> That would be awful. That would be awful if that went off on a test. Then I have a Planet Hollywood keychain. I have my house key. I have a BMW just like little keychain. I don't really know what that's for. And then I have a coach keychain. I love keychains. I love collecting keychains. Keychains are like my favorite thing ever. And when I go out of town, I always have to get a keychain from that city. So that's a lot of fun. A water bottle, this will weigh your bag down, but I find that if you carry a water bottle around with you, you are much more likely to be drinking water and stay hydrated, which is going to help your skin. A camera for all of the moments in high school that you want to remember forever, or middle school, or whatever. A cell phone, um, a lot of schools make you have these turned off which is really, really annoying. I know that my school, you had to have them turned off and out of sight. They couldn't be out until the bell rang at the end of school. Um, I know some schools don't have that policy. You can have your phones out, whatever. Either way, you want to have it with you. A wallet. Um, I don't know. This is just what I keep some cards in. Um, my extra money. I don't know. I really, I keep my change in here, but I really do not use wallet. Okay pad and tampon holders. So this is a pad holder and it has Velcro to close and this is a tampon holder. They won't fall out. And these are sold on Glitzy Glam. And one of the most embarrassing things that can happen to you is either lay your bag down, like lay your purse down on the floor when you get into a classroom and you're ready to sit down at your desk and either tampons or pads fall out or your bag is kind of open and everyone can see down in there and see that you have like a bunch of pads and tampons so I would recommend getting these it's so cute and it totally conceals it no one will really know what they are and the tampon holder is actually really really good to put some lip glosses in which I found so I mean double duty a pencil holder you want to have pencils pins highlighters um, I have my purple lab pin for huge lips skinny hips I keep these little um, post-its that are really, really skinny and little so that I can mark pages in my textbooks. Sunglasses always protect your eyes when you're outside. The second I walk outside, I have my sunglasses on. No joke, I will not be out in the sun without my sunglasses on. So, sunglasses. Um, these are my Friday Night Fashion sunglasses. They were only a couple dollars. 
earphones for an iPod or in my case my phone. Um, if you have an iPod you might want to take that with you. I know in my French class we were allowed to listen to iPods. If we were working like alone on workbooks we could have our iPods going. So I always thought that was really really cool and I always thought that it was like the coolest thing in the world because iPods were like banned at my school. You weren't even supposed to take them to school. But my French teacher let us like listen to it, but only if we were working like alone or in small groups, not if she was talking or anything. Then I had this mini emergency kit. These are sold on Glitzy Glam as well. And look how tiny they are. That's not going to take up any space in your bag. And this thing has 16 different little things that you need for an emergency. And they are all packed in there. So cute. So here's the little box that comes in and I'm going to read off what it has. Lip balm, breath freshener, dental floss, nail filer, clear nail polish, nail polish remover, clear elastics, earring backs, hairspray, stain remover, double-sided hem tape, mending kit, pain reliever, deodorant towelette, tampon, adhesive bandage. That's so much to fit into this tiny little bag and I use this and I always carry it around with me and I find that I do have to use this a lot and then I have to like go get things to refill it with because I use all this stuff up, but it's really easy to get all the things back in here. So it's not like you open it up and everything like pops out and then you never can stuff it back in. It actually like everything kind of has a place. And the last thing is makeup. I carry my things around in my Hello Kitty makeup bag that I got from the MAC Hello Kitty collection. This is all you need to take with you to school for makeup. Maybe if you have a gym class or something, you're going to want to take extra makeup to freshen out, freshen up after gym class, but this is what you need. A blotting powder. I have my Cliché Cosmetics blot powder that is already, it's like built into the brush and you press the button and it comes out of the brush. This is perfect. We don't want to get oily during the day. I always have a baby mascara. You guys know I love, love, love baby mascaras. They're like my favorite thing ever. So this is the Books, Booksum Lash, Booksum, I don't know, whatever it is. Eyeliners. Always, always, always I have a black and brown eyeliner in my makeup bag. Um, these are both MAC Technicals and I like these because they spin up and bring your eyeliner out so that you don't have to have a sharpener with you too. Um, on my own eyes, a lot of times I like using the ones that you sharpen yourself. I just feel like they are better. I don't know why. I just feel like they're not as dry and stuff. But carrying around, I always have these with me. An eyelash curler because in the day when you're kind of feeling down or drowsy or you have nothing to do a lot of times there's just nothing to do so hey curl your eyelashes um i don't know i feel like if you curl your eyelashes and give your eyes a little bit more sparkle because when you curl your eyelashes it's going to bring a little bit of moistness to your eyes or at least mine i guess i have really sensitive eyes and it brings a little bit of moistness to my eyes so it makes your eyes kind of sparkle um and it's going to make you look a lot more awake then I carry around hair ties because when I'm taking a test, I always have to tie my hair back. And the last thing are lip products. This is the number one thing that you need to reapply during the day. And so I, so the only lip products I ever have in my bag are the ones I'm wearing that day. It switches out every day. So today I'm wearing Ravishing Lip Lipstick from MAC with Smile Dazzle Glass over it. And this is all I have in my bag. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.